Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how many streams you need to get certified gold or platinum? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Now, Risa is the one in charge in South Africa with verification purposes in order for you to get certified gold or platinum. So they change this every once in a while depending on the situation of the world, etc. So I'm gonna show you step by step on how to check exactly what the rules are and how you need to go about getting your certification for your different type of revenue streams or plays such as streams cd sales downloads etc so i'm gonna head over to my pc and show you step by step on how to do that what's up so the very first thing you want to do is go to the risa website look at the top it's risa.org.za and then where it says platinum and gold you just hover over there and when it says certification levels so that is where they break down more or less the levels how many streams you need so you click on there and then they give you the introduction um this document is a draft international standard considered in south african market does not does differ um it does differ so it's open and resale application is open to me member recording companies only and third-party auditors are tasked to review the application so it's clear that you have to have a record company within a registered record company with Risa. so you can't be not a member obviously and then uh, along with the sales streams etc this document describes the titles etc moving on so this is basically the application process i'm not going to go through that because there's quite a bit to go through um but when it says go down to where it says configuration let me just zoom in slightly there um yeah where it says configuration so there's different types of sale um categories albums singles different types music videos dvds mobile sales digital sales and albums okay overall gold is 15000 units and then platinum is 30000 units depending on what's going on but now they break it down within each subset cuz it's with some things it's a little easier and it's more difficult to get to the 15000 units like streaming should be easily be able to get 10,000. So it's not exactly 10,000 for that. So in terms of singles, to get gold, you need 10,000 units for singles. I think this would be on the CD type of sale, the CD 10,000 CD sales. Platinum is 20,000, double platinum is 40,000 sales. So that is if you're selling the CD, the actual physical cover. Now, multi-box audio sets. Um, this is typically if you have, um, if you're packaging your your albums your singles or your eps if you're selling two in one box then the slightly higher units because technically one sale is actually two if you have two cds if you have three cds it's actually three but they've realized people are using that as a loophole so this is for three or more units per box so if you have three or more this is how many units you actually do need so you can kind of get with the gray area where you have two CDs in one sale where it is a gray area where you can actually multiply through. I don't know if that actually makes sense. So let's say you have a CD that has two EPs, your last two EPs, and then you sell one of them, one of the combined CDs. That's actually two CDs, not just one. So that's actually what they're talking about here with multi box audio sets. Um, I'm going to leave the mobile sales and music video sales out. I want to go to a, the digital side of things because that's where most um, independent artists can play somewhat fairly since you have the whole world to deal with. So one permanent download is one single. So if someone goes to iTunes and buys the actual download, one is to one. That's, that's simple. That's clear. So one single. So in terms of one single, you, then you need 10,000 units if, for downloads. You just multiply through. So 10 permanent downloads equals one album. So if you have, so you have to make sure that you're on the same page for that one album. So if you have 10, 10 permanent downloads equals one album in terms of um, sales. And then streaming is where it becomes a little more tricky. So you kind of have to say, okay, for every 120 streams, you only get one, one single that equals one single. So you have to decide if I'm going for albums or if I'm going for singles in terms of what is the certification you want. So do you want single, do you want gold, gold certification on a single or gold certification on the album basis? If you want it on the single basis, then 120 streams for one single. 
So you have to decide if you want to go platinum or gold on a single basis or on the album basis. For 120 streams only equals one single. So if you, it's easier to go on the single basis. So I probably recommend that. But if you want to go platinum or gold on the album basis, um, then you need 120 streams collectively within the album. So you take the 120 and then you multiply them by what the units are. So it's a 15,000. What I'm not exactly sure about, they've increased everything slightly more. Um, so uh, what did I say? 120 equals singles. So times that by 15,000, that's probably 1.8 million or so. That's enough so Yeah. So you need a 1.8 million streams to go gold on a single basis and then times that by two so 36 3.6 million to go platinum 3.6 million streams to go platinum on streaming now what i'm not exactly sure about is is this single related to this number here for the singles and eps or is it related to these units here I'll have to find out with regards to that and I'll probably leave it in the description in the comment section once I know 100%. But basically, you need almost at least 1.8 million streams in order to go gold and 3.6 million streams to go platinum. Um, they do change this every once in a while and they do put additional information if things are a little unclear. So you just go into to this place on the certification levels and then you just read through everything. Once, like obviously, if you start getting to a million streams, then you can start checking this out to see what makes sense and then contact Risa or someone within Risa to make sure that you're multiplying the right numbers because um, they they tend to change these numbers depending on how the market picks up, etc. But yeah, that's basically it. If you want to know how many streams you need to make a thousand rand, watch this video.